Hello! We're the Globetrotter family. You may recognize us from being famous. Or something. You may not recognize us from not being famous. You may recognize that from her swift dance moves. Okay, so we decided we're gonna make some videos, a video for every place we go on our trip. And in those videos, we are gonna ask a series of questions to document the things we learned, things we liked, and just remember all the awesome stuff we did. Right? Yes. So these questions may change over time, but for now, question number one. What is our favorite thing we did while in whatever city? Number two, what's one thing we learned while we were here? It doesn't have to be about the city or anything, just like a lie for anything we learned. Just why are you better now? Number three is, what was it? Oh, what's one thing we love about like the culture or the city or the people or something like that? Got it? Got it. Got it. Oh, but first I think we should tell the story of um, the first day we got here. What about all that mess in the background? Should we tell the story of that? No. This is real life, folks. Our first flight was at like, what, 11? Yep, 11 a.m. Utah. Dorothy 11 a.m. Utah. <laughs> is pulling on the straps, young lady. 11 a.m. We just let her have medicine vials. Hey, Here. whatever keeps her happy, man. Vials? Oh, or doy! Syringes. Oh, doy! Look at her stand. It's all by yourself. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> so proud. <laughs> Okay, so we start our flight at 11. Okay. She goes down for a nap about an hour into the flight. The flight's about three and a half hours. Feeling she, good about this. Yeah. She slept for two hours on that flight. Wow, wow, amazing, amazing. you say. Yeah. Slept on me, it was great. Okay, then we had a two hour layover, which wasn't, didn't turn out to be very long. And we got on the plane, and we had great seats, baller seats. They were really good. Um, and we, she took her first nap. Okay. Kind of. Right? And then we tried to put her down for the night, and she wasn't having it. So the second flight was like eight hours long anyways. Last two and a half, three hours, was straight H. She was screaming, yelling, people were pissed. Nobody was pissed. Nobody was mad. But it wasn't great for us. No, it wasn't. Okay, finally we, we got, got here. We got off the plane. We got off the plane, mm -hmm. and it took us... 45 minutes to try to figure out how to get an Uber. She's exhausted by now because it's like 8 a.m. here, which is like 1 a.m. Utah time. She hasn't had a nap. Anyways. She hasn't, had, she hasn't gone down to sleep. Right. She's so tired. It took us a long time to find an Uber. We finally found an Uber. We got to, our, we got to the place we thought it was, right? <laughs> and then you tell what happens. And then... The lady's not responding on Airbnb. We don't have her contact number. Well, we do. We're calling that. No one's answering. Uh, and so I start looking through the pictures to see if we can figure out what house it is because the, the address doesn't have the house number on it. So finally, we find this picture with a tiny little lettering on the door, right? Yeah, and we and zoom, zoom in, in on it. And, and it says 187. I'm like, babe, it's 187. Like, it's it. Because the whole, the whole street has a, the houses that look exactly the same. And uh, we find out it's 187. And we get out of the car. We, well, we've already out of the, out of the cow yeah, car like, by this point. They, like, we have, we're already left. We have four suitcases, two backpacks, a child, a stroller, which we left. We didn't have a stroller. <laughs> we left, we realized as soon as the Uber left that we left the stroller at the airport. That's a side plot. We'll return to that later, maybe. Um, so we go up to 187, and <laughs> you have to get buzzed in. So I start buzzing. Just start at apartment one, start buzzing. Flat one, if you want to be proper English. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Finally, someone's like, hello. I'm like, can you let us in? Our Airbnb is supposed to be here. She lets us in. We go up the elevator. I start looking through more pictures because there's some pictures of the doorway and the hallway to try to figure out which door it might be. Finally, I come to the conclusion it's got to be door seven. So he goes, we take the elevator up to door seven. He starts knocking. He's like, hello, hello, is anybody there? And he pushes on the door and it opens. It's unlocked. 
We go in. It looks like it's... We're not supposed to be able to check in until later, but they said we could drop our bags off, so that's what we're trying to do. And uh, we go in. Nobody's in there. It looks like it's just been checked out of, so we're like, this is probably it. We're probably right. It looks exactly like the pictures. We take our bags in there. We're so tired. Dorothy's so tired. She's so ornery and sleepy, and so Whitley and Dorothy go into the back room in this place. This place that we haven't been invited into. Somebody had just stayed there. So there's there's it's like, like a dark room and she falls asleep immediately. On old me. old sheets. Somebody's been sleeping on these sheets for a week that we don't know. There's like towels and their their trash and everything. It's just like a used hotel room. We go in there and Whitley and her lay on the bed and she crashes. And then Derek's come in and he's like they're gonna come in this here. Gonna, what are you gonna do? And I'm like, this is gonna what do you want me to do? Extremely She's awkward dead. when someone shows up and is like, why are you asleep in our room? Anyways, we finally get a hold of the people and they're like, he's five minutes away. And I'm like, crap, 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 get out of here so before they I show up. So I pick her up and I put her on me and then we I go out in the, the hall and sit in the stairs. Move and all then the bags out. He comes in and he's like, oh yeah, you're actually apartment six. And we're like, mm. okay. We were just in some random person's apartment. It looks like, it, I think it was theirs too, so it wasn't just like some random person. That would have been worse if someone showed up to their actual house and we were there. Really but there was no stuff in it, so. Yeah. Anyways, he's like, yeah, you can you can stay here while I clean your place. And we're like, you sure? It's like, yep. So we go back to said bedroom, crash there for like four hours. No. Two. A couple hours while he cleans our place, which is the level below. Finally, we get into our actual Airbnb and We slept until 7? Is that what it was? 6 or 7 p.m. Yeah We woke up and it was 7 p.m. It was dark outside I think But then the battle began of jet lag But well, we finally got our trailer back Yeah, we were, eventually we mm -hmm. had to pay a hundred bucks, but we got it back so then, a few, three days of struggling to get Dorothy back onto a normal sleeping schedule, and finally, life is figured out and good. But Dorothy has a cough, so that kind of sucks. <sighs> Anyways, we're here. Welcome to London! Probably offensive to the people of the United Kingdom. Sometimes when I pretend to speak in a British accent, I start going, Hello, my name's Harry Potter. And Whitley thinks it's dumb, but I think it's funny. I think it's dumb? I don't know. Why would you say that? Okay, back to our questions. Number one. What is... Uh, what, our favorite thing we did. Thing we did. Let's see if our answer is the same. On one. the count of three. One, two, three. St. Paul's, Paul's Cathedral. Cathedral! Woo! Where are we at? St. Paul's Cathedral. You got it. Check this out. Oh my lanta. We're gonna go in. I don't know if they're gonna allow recording on the inside, but we're gonna go in and check it out. If we see anything cool, We'll either show you or we'll let you know afterwards, right? Or we'll paint a picture for you with, uh, with our uh, words. Or we'll paint an actual picture for you and you can tell us your address and we'll send it to you to kind of like show with our watercolors what or it looks you, like. Or you could probably Google it. Why was it so special? What did we do? We hiked to the top and it was so pretty and so cool. Yeah. Okay. No one even really to told him? us to do this. We knew it was like one of the major sites. Tell him. But... tell him. It was really cool. Dad. Yes, it was. <laughs> but we went, and you can climb, you can go up this, these tiny staircases that are like little tiny tunnels, barely big enough to fit yourself through, let alone carrying a child and a backpack, and squeeze up these winding staircases until you get to the first floor up, which is awesome. You get to look over the dome inside. into the inside. I mean, this place is huge. And then go another like 200 steps up and you go to the first outer circle, which was amazing. You get to look through the pillars 
out to the city. It's like a 360 view of the city. And then you go another 150 yeah. stairs or something up. Yeah. And ah, you get to the tallest part of the cathedral. And Whitley was really nervous that I was gonna drop Dorothy, but I didn't. Hello! We made it! Where are we? Say look at the view, Mom. Look over there. Don't. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's so cool. Dorothy? Honey, what do you think of it? <laughs> yeah, it is really cool. Is that a long flight of the stairs? <laughs> Saying goodbye to St. Paul's Cathedral. That's where we were just barely. Right up there. Whoa! Why was that so special? Just because it was yeah, the, unexpected the and cool? Yeah, the magnificent. Oh no! And oh no! it was really high and cool. Oh. There was a lady that had a panic attack at the top because the stairs were so oh. tall. And... <laughs> She's breaking. <laughs> Uh, the other one is like favorite part of the culture or city or something. I have um, a few of those. Let's let's talk about that next. I think number one we'll have the same one. What? Of Generally, the city? yeah. Generally, it's like a high high way higher rate version of New York. I think, and we're <laughs> way nicer. We love New York, but coming here like. Don't let her Looking fall. around, generally, Don't it's similar to New York because it's such a big city and people speak English and they got like a subway, although very, it's like way nicer. But it's like ha similar in a lot of ways to New York. But then, it's nicer here. Everything's cleaner, smells better, the buildings are so pretty, the and people, people look nicer. And they are nicer. They're, and they are nicer. Everyone's so, so nice. Everybody was obsessed Nobody with Nobody smells like pee. And yeah. no one yells the F word at you. Yeah, and like everybody was enthralled with Dorothy and so sweet to her. And like, she, they, everybody smiled at her and was like, it was, they were all really nice. That'd be one of my favorite things of the whole thing. Yeah. Is people would, on the subway, would look at her and wave at her and make faces at her and yeah. reach over and tickle her and stuff. And that would never happen in New York. Ever. People are well, not that maybe, but friendly. Way less amount. So people were just super nice. She loves you and you know that it can't be bad. Yes, she loves you and you know you should be glad. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. With a love like that, you know you should be glad. With a love like that, you know you should be glad. Love like that. Okay, number three, what's one thing you learned? I think I already knew this, but um there's gonna be very few oh, perfect no. days. <laughs> In the best way. Traveling with the baby, we knew this coming into this, but we did. And we we, we talked about and it and we were like, it. Are we prepared for this? But there's gonna be no, oh, no. perfect days with her. Mm, I mean, maybe. Well, there might yeah. be a few, but they'll be few and far between. Yeah. Right? I mean, look at her face. Can you see it? Um, I would say one thing we are learning and will hopefully get better at is we um, patience with each other in frustrating times. Yeah. Because <laughs> we just any change, I guess, in life, but this is like a huge change in lifestyle without having like a home and trying to see the sights while managing being parents and like making sure Dorothy's happy but still making sure we you know maximize our time in each place I think in stressful times <laughs> we just need to assume the best in each other right yeah and be patient and forgiving of each other so that's is, what I learned this is a highly accurate representation of what it's like with her all day okay let's not break these yeah no 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 Break them, don't break them. I'm so sorry. Anything else you learned? Um, no, I think those are two good things. Um, we loved eating um, afternoon tea. We really loved that. That was fun. We did that today. We're pretty much, we're pretty much real United Kingdomers at this point. Yeah. Anything else you want to share? Mm. On to Paris tomorrow. Mm.
<laughs> okay, let's say goodbye before we get to honor. Okay, one, two, three. Bye. Bye. See you in Paris. Wee. <laughs> <laughs>